All right, it is 96.9 Cool FM After Dark with Daddy Freeze and the Lobsters. Welcome back. And um, we're talking about this now. I, I'm sure a lot of you have seen this video. I got flowers today. today. And um, it was done by, uh, what's that lady's name again? DSF. DSF. Apparently she's an actress or actor, as they like to refer to themselves. And um, MC, I read her. Um, DJ. A DJ, um, yeah. presenter, and all that. It was... A very beautiful video, very deep video. I haven't seen something that deep this year. And it was about a blogger who um, got flowers today from her ex, who started off with harsh words. Yes. And then... It was her, it was, it was her, her boyfriend. Or her husband, her husband yes. Uh, and he got her flowers the next day. And after that... He beat her. He beat her and then sent her flowers the next day. And after that, beat her again till beat she her again out. till she passed out and still sent her flowers. And the final set of flowers she got were the riff on her <sighs> grave. And I think that's a, a very resounding message. I was having this the same conversation uh, earlier on today with Taze Buds. Many of you are ruining what's left of your lives by staying in I got flowers today relationships yeah uh, I, I think this needs to be addressed louder for the people at the back many of you are dying you see we, we, we woke up to the let me tell you yeah if your car is burning mm. are you going to jump inside and burn with the car no. no why because they tell you you can always change your car car is a material thing mm -hmm. I think people need to view marriage like that if yeah. your marriage is burning, get out of it. You don't need to stay inside the marriage and burn. Your parents told you that they made an error. They lied. They made a mistake. Religion tells you to stay in a dead marriage. It's a lie from the pit of hell. The next set of flowers you might be getting could be a wreath. And let me, let me be honest, there was a time in my life I was close to that. And, and, and I'm going to use my story to encourage a lot of people out there who think that ending a relationship or ending a marriage is the end of their lives. When it's not working, leave. Encourage people to leave. Uh, and don't stigmatize people. That leave. You, you, you go to, uh, uh, to try to get a job as a divorcee sometimes. Mm -hmm. You get looked down upon. An apartment. You try to get a house. You get looked down upon. You know, why are you a divorcee? Many people don't want to give houses to divorcees. You know, come on. You're making the situation worse. You're making people stay in I got flowers today relationships. And what comes out of it at the end of the day is so much more sadness. Not just for the couple involved, but for, for the children. Yeah. And, and, and for the society at large, the woman who killed that guy in Abuja, how many years is she going to get? Max, they'll give her six years. And if Max. she had just, you know, walked out. Now the guy's be... dead. She's going to jail. The child. Or she could have just walked out. Is she even really going to jail? We don't even know. Because she had just given birth, no? Mm -hmm. I, th I, yeah. I don't know where I had it. We don't but, even uh, know. I don't think dead. she's actually going to jail, though. There he goes. He dead. Yeah. But what, what, at what point do you draw the line between fighting for your relationship and knowing when to walk out? Because it's a very thin line between, you know, let me work on my relationship and I need to run out. Yes. You see, work on a relationship... I'll encourage you to work on relationships. Um, there's so many people I've met who I've counseled and I've um, told that, look, your relationship is not as bad as you think it is. Mm -hmm. Now, what else can you deal with? Can you deal with loneliness? Some people can't deal with loneliness. 
Do you yeah. understand? And mm. some relationships encourage loneliness. Do you understand? The guy has so much work or the woman has so much work and the guy or the, or the, or the partner is left idle or lonely or alone very often. Um, I'll give you an example. You marry someone who's a sailor who's at sea for three months. Now, it's not like you're at sea and communication is going on. Sometimes you might not be able to talk for the whole three months. Do you understand? Yeah. You might just say, ah, it's marriage. If you do it, after the first two years, it's not working. Call yourselves aside and tell yourselves the truth. Amicably. Yeah. Instead of you having one husband on the sea and one husband on land, or instead of you having a husband and deputy husband, yeah. or vice husband. <laughs> Assistant general. Assistant. <laughs> or Assistant having a husband. wife and deputy wife. Do you, do you understand? I think it's better you guys called yourselves and, you know, okay, I, I really love you. I appreciate the fact that you have a job and you're taking care of the kids. But I really can't do this loneliness. It's killing my soul. I'm depressed half the time. Blah, 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 blah. Whatever the issue is, you should be able to raise it mm -hmm. and ask yourself questions. Now, if you're a married couple, don't get married because of the society. Get married because you really want to get married. If you get married because of the society, you'd be, it's like people like being sad. Mm. I look at people and you're in a marriage, you're sad, but some fool gives you um, the line, Marriage is meant to be endured, not enjoyed. Yeah, but you know, that's, that's what you hear statements like, who is enjoying marriage here? You know, do you know what your parents went through? Do you know what your yes, mom kept people, from you? People say it. So even as kids when we're growing up, those are lines that do we you heard. you know what so, your parents had to yes. tolerate and so, all that? Okay. My parents tolerated it. I will not. Exactly. And I will not allow anyone else to. It didn't work. It didn't work. It's not marriage is meant to be enjoyed. You're supposed to look forward to going home. You're supposed to be lazy to leave home yeah. and yeah. anxious to get back. As in, they should be literally dragging you out of your house every day and mm. literally holding you to go from going back because you're rushing back there the moment oh. you're done. I remember going when I first... Um, got separated i would go drinking with my buddies all married and um it's like 12 o'clock the married me i don't have anybody i'm going home to i'm tired i have work the next day at four do you understand but i have to get up and go the married men are still sitting there drinking <laughs> i'm like dudes ah no no we are, we are still here we're still here one more for the i'm like come <laughs> Obviously, they're not looking forward to going home. If you're in that kind of situation, I think this year should be the year when you sat down with your spouse and say, look, why are we in this mess that we don't, you don't like coming home, I don't like coming home. You'd rather stay with your friends, I'd rather stay with mine. Why are we lying to ourselves? Because sometimes the, the attack is not physical, it's emotional. Yeah. yeah. You yeah. could batter me emotionally without raising a word and without Do you understand what I'm telling you? Let me let me give you an example of emotional battery. You walk into the room to lie down beside me. I don't insult you. I don't curse you up. I just get up and go and lie down in the parlor. And I do that every day for you for 6 months. Mm. I don't say, "Well, I'm not fighting. You come and meet me. I'm not darling, I'm not fighting with you. I just want to continue this book I'm reading. No fight, nothing." Do you know if I did it to you for a year, you'd go crazy, you'd go bonkers, you'd start breaking things. Where are we going, Fife? If you did it for two days, there's a problem. <laughs> do, you, do you understand? <laughs> what I'm telling you is, when you report, they, how do you, how do you do? Okay, imagine I'm your parent, you know, come. He stood up My husband is ignoring me. Eh, you know men are like that. Give him time. Give him time. It's true. Let him enjoy is himself. Is he paying the children's school fees? Yes. Is, is he paying the rent? Yes. Is he giving it? you spending money? Yes. What is he beating you? Is he beating you? No. no. Is he insulting you? No. So is he abusive with him? his words? No. He no, but he is still traumatizing you by being passively aggressive. Yeah. You know, Amal said ask the question that at what point do you know, okay, now is the time to walk away and then or I mean there's a thin line between yes. fighting for your home or just walking away. I feel like 
first of all, like the Adifri said, he would always encourage trying to work things out. Yes. I also encourage that. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. I don't you. think you should just wake up and leave because you sense that something is not right. Okay, always try to communicate. I mean, I feel like if you guys express yourselves, understand what the issue is and talk about it, then when these things don't stop, when they keep repeating itself, then that's when you know that, okay, nobody's you know trying to make an effort, nobody's trying to fix it, you can, then you can leave. Do you understand? But don't say, I don't want it to be like we're putting out a message that, oh, once, because we are all humans, everybody can make a mistake, yeah. right? So if you don't talk about it, you would, you know, you might never be able to resolve it. And Which is why it's very important to always communicate. But if you see that after several communications, there's still no improvement, then you can leave. That's what I think, though. And for people that are planning to get married or you're in relationships, you're dating, do not ignore red signs. Really yeah. don't. Mm. The the girl that's dramatic is not going to come down. She might, but there's being dramatic in a nice way, in a fun way. Mm. There's being then there's being toxic, crazy the dramatic. Yes, there's that girl that's toxic every time. Like she, she makes you want to like like pluck your ears off. It's not going to change. So yeah. I feel like we ignore things during day, like during dating. Oh, he's che- oh he's cheating now. And when 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 I get a child, he'll calm down. <laughs> Oh, she she hits me. Oh, you know, when she becomes a wife, she'll know that it doesn't change. That's for people that just want to be married in the sake of, for the name of, let me just be married. married. Do you understand? Because I feel like if you see things, I feel like everybody has their bad characters and everything. Mm -hmm. But at the end of the day, you should be able to look, sift through the ones that you can leave it, the ones that you can tolerate. If you can't, it's just easy for you to leave it when it's still um when you all are still dating you don't have to love go going to you can be so like you can really be in love with someone that you find it hard to get up and leave that can happen so you you might know that this person does this and um, this person is toxic but you honestly don't have the feet to get up and then when society is telling you hey there's no fish in the sea that's yes nah, s- stay where you are so it, it it becomes you know it becomes really Nicole. listen no matter what happens you can have another chance even if you have kids you you know you you that you can still have another chance hmm. you know a lot of people believe that oh if i don't if i leave this man nobody's gonna marry me you're not deformed someone will marry you and even if somebody don't marry you yeah you even can if someone still, don't marry you, you marry know, yourself you're not gonna die i was happy when i was alone i was 10 times happier when i was alone than when i was in my first marriage you know i'm I th- telling you i experienced tranquility peace i was living in the house then with a house girl i had a housemaid Mm -hmm. like a nanny i would come back home and all the house would be neat i love neat spaces do you understand Mm. and my bed would be nicely made should have cooked there was one day she was cooking beans for herself and the beans were smelling nice i wanted a bit of the beans and the beans was very nice do you understand? And I was like, okay, okay, okay. So what is it exactly that I am missing? Ah, you are so lucky you're married. You know, and I'll come to my house. I'll be alone. I'll turn on the television. You understand? And I'll be watching the television till I doze off in front of the television. No mm-hmm. stress, nothing, no harassment. Wow. You just have that inner peace. As in peace and that's true happiness true happiness that's is true not happiness. from someone it's yeah. from you People, you can't mm-hmm. pu- you can't pour from an empty cup you have to be happy on your own yeah to exactly. make someone else happy you should learn to enjoy your company and enjoy being yourself being by yourself first of all mm-hmm. yeah. please please we'll have a quick to break and yeah. we come back and round off don't go anywhere i believe in marriage i just don't believe in the institution of marriage right. marriage is between two people and their creator I don't believe the marriage is a societal thing or a family thing. I think that's utter nonsense. Mm-hmm. Maybe we should take a few phone calls. And, and, and if we face marriage more instead of the institution, I believe I got flowers today. Will reduce. Would reduce. Yeah. All right, big shout out to Miss Def. Is that what her name is? DSF. Miss DSF. Big shout out to her. Awesome, awesome stuff. You can check it out on her Instagram handle at MS underscore DSF. Please do check it out and you'd be very glad you did. Okay, 2710969, 2711969, 2712969, and 2713. 
1-800-926-9969. Are you one of those people who are more liberal when it comes to issues around divorce, around... Some people say when you divorce, the children suffer. You don't know when the children suffer when you, put, you people are together in a toxic mm -hmm. place. Mm -hmm. Do you know the kind of children you raise sometimes? I mean, most, most marriages aren't working out these days because the kids were stuck in toxic mar uh, marriages and they learned from that. Exactly, yes. and they grew up they like that. They grew up toxic, yeah. they grew up damaged. So that's why there are a lot of people, you still have the I got flowers marriages today because there were I got flowers marriages then. Yes. So that's all people know. So you, you can't keep saying that the kids will be broken. The kids can recover from divorce. They can't recover from seeing who, their mother get bitten or their father suffer yes. every day. Yeah. No. Yeah, exactly. They need the to. The kids will be fine eventually. Space. Yeah, definitely. You know, yeah. they'll be fine eventually. But if you stick together and beat yourselves up in front of them and all that nonsense. You, 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 you know, you're, you're damaging them. And when you damage them, you're releasing damaged adults, you know, uh, into the future. Anyway, um, I think we should round off right now. The message is clear. Please, if they are beating you and giving you flowers, hmm. I beg you, leave. And when you leave, nobody's telling you can't remarry. I think we have a call. Nobody should tell you can't remarry. If you remarry, you go to hellfire. Is a lie. Yes, we've got a caller right here. Hello. Good evening. Good evening, Daddy. Please go ahead. Tell us your name and go ahead. My name is Abed Nico. So, firstly, I'm not even a fan of people give me flowers, give me this one, give me that one. Marriage is a look it's for most of you because when it is ready now, you will come out. But when it is down, Oops, lost that dude. Okay, uh, thank you very much. Um, I think we should round off though. Um, it's after dark with Daddy Freeze and the Lobsters. A bit of a sober mood in here. And uh, if you know anyone who's going through one of those, I got flowers today, marriages, please tell them to leave while they can. Leave to leave. Leave. I remember when I first met Naomi. Naomi used to be no. Ah, marriage must work. Ah, this it must. We must. No, 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 no. I know. I'm still. You know. I'm still all for working it out, trying to work it out because you never can tell. You know. I mean, you might just to a certain exactly. There are things that I can't handle. You can't tell. Yeah. You can't tell. Do you understand? Now, a lot of people don't leave their marriages because a call's coming back because of what's involved you can't remarry society will look at you funny all right yes go ahead sir oh, good yes good evening what's your name go ahead please raise your voice and go ahead sir i said i'm calling for my mom okay sir go ahead you think i want to oh my god this not very once we make a conviction that most of religious doctrines are kind of like we should dismystify it we have a better understanding of everything like mm -hmm. almost everything i don't stand anti-religious but you get my point that's why i like following like almost everything religious religion teaches is against against common sense and reasoning so once you get that things like divorce and things like that will be better handled I agree with you. Thank you very much for that. Um, I think that's as far as we can go on After Dark with Daddy Freeze and mm -hmm. the Beautiful Lobsters. Um, I'm going to be on leave for about 10 days. I need to rest a little and let the lobsters... But please, please, keep it a date with the lobsters. They're going to be right here. Yes. And um, you can also still catch them online too, I hope. They're not going to be lazy. <laughs> No. <laughs> but on the radio, it's still going to be Daddy Freeze and the Lobsters without Daddy Freeze. So it's just going to be lobsters, you know. Going to be some seafood on the platter <laughs> yes. from 7 to 9. Mm. And I hope you guys miss me. If they do a job that is so good, you will miss me. So I jinx them. Jinx. <laughs> so you can miss me. All right, guys. Love you all. See you soon. Take care of yourselves. Check this out, I'm